President Putin has warned the West not to cross what he called a red line with Russia, stating that it would trigger an asymmetrical, rapid and harsh response. Mr Putin's comments during his State of the Nation address came at a time of increased tensions with the West. And as supporters of the jailed opposition figure, Alexei Navalny, staged protests against Mr Putin's rule. Our Moscow correspondent, Steve Rosenberg, sent this report. A touch of pomp. Then, cue the president. This was Vladimir Putin's 17th State of the Nation address. He used it to portray his country as a besieged fortress, threatened by the West. And he warned, don't mess with Russia. I hope no one will cross Russia's red line. But in each case, we are the ones who will decide where the red line is. Organizers of any provocation threatening our security will regret it, like they haven't regretted anything for a long time. But is it Moscow that's the threat? The US and NATO say they're concerned by Russian troop movements and a military build-up near Ukraine. There's concern too about Alexei Navalny. The jailed opposition leader is on hunger strike and in poor health. America has warned Russia of consequences if he dies. Today, police detained more than a thousand supporters of Mr. Navalny. There were protests across Russia. This was the scene in Moscow, close to the Kremlin. People marched through the city, defying the authorities who'd called the protests illegal. Russia will be free, they chanted. And we're the power here. Vladimir Putin always says that everything is OK. Every single word he says is a lie. And I'm, I'm not OK with that. That's why I'm here. In his speech, Vladimir Putin made no mention of Alexei Navalny or protests. But in many ways, what has been happening to Mr Navalny is a reflection of the state of this nation. The Kremlin's most ferocious critic, first poisoned and then put in prison. In one day, we saw two very different Russias. To the Kremlin, unsanctioned protest means chaos, disorder. President Putin wants Russians to believe that only he can guarantee them stability. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.